Have you ever had the pull chain on your ceiling fan break off? Not in the middle where you can fix it, up in the ceiling fan. I had that happen in one of my ceiling fans. The kids were messing with it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace that little pull chain switch and fix it so you don't have to replace the whole thing. Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, whatever you gotta do. But right now, I gotta change so we can fix the ceiling fan. Come on. So this is the ceiling fan in my living room. As you can see, I've got a chain here for the light, but I'm missing this one. Kids were pulling on it and it came off and it broke off inside. And so now I have no control over the fan. All I've got is control over the light. So I'm gonna show you how to repair that. You don't necessarily have to replace the fan unless they don't make the internal parts for your fan or you can't get a hold of them. I am just going to need to remove the light kit part. It detaches. The whole thing doesn't need to come down. I'm not gonna be messing with the wires in the wall. So I'm actually gonna shut the power off at the light switch. Okay, power's off. Now all we have to do is remove the screws around the top to pull down the light kit. Now when you remove this final screw, support the light from below, because it'll come down. It'll be hanging by this wiring harness. And all you're gonna have to do is this little lever, you're gonna push it down. You should be able to disconnect the light kit. Now, this is a fan that I had bought at Home Depot. Uh, I checked at Home Depot and they did have a few replacement parts internally for this. They weren't super expensive. Um, but what I'm going to do is, since I just replaced some ceiling fans in the other room and they were the same brand, I actually have the light kit off of one of those and the fan switch pull chain works just fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take the one out of this, put it into this one and see if that fixes my problem. So when you look inside, you're gonna see a mess of wires, but if you look from the outside, you can actually tell that this piece right here is what goes to the pull chain. This is where it's broken off. And the way that you take it apart is you actually unscrew this, you unscrew it uh, counterclockwise, lefty loosey. That piece comes off, that's what's holding it in place. And then you can just push that back in and you can see that this is the piece that we're gonna need to replace. You can actually see inside where the chain is and where it broke off. Now the part that's gonna get a little tricky is if you follow the wires off of this switch back, there's one that goes into this wiring harness, a couple go in here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to clip those off and wire nut them. If you look at this other switch, it's the exact same color configuration, purple, black, yellow, orange. So I should be able to clip them off here and make them work in here. So the switch that I'm replacing, I'm actually gonna cut the wires as close to the switch as possible so that I've got room to make my splices. Now on this switch, I actually want to do the opposite. I want to cut the wires as far away from the switch as possible. Because like I said, this fan is no good. I was getting rid of it, replaced it with a new one. I always like to double check, make sure that they're the same. So now I'm gonna expose some of the wire, strip these back. Same thing over here. You only need to strip them back, what is that, half inch? Just enough so that you can twist them together with the other wires. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go color to color. Orange with orange, purple with purple, yellow with yellow, black with black. Twisting the wires together helps them to have less likelihood of coming apart and shorting out. Wire nut protects them from tapping other things around the housing that would be bonded to the grounding system and would cause a short. So if you don't have wire nuts, you can look in here and when they manufacture it, they use these crimp connections. Uh, wire nuts are easy to get a hold of. If you wanna be safe, if it makes you feel better, you could actually take some electrical tape, just take a little piece, you can wrap around the edge of the wire nut and the wires. All right, now that I've got it together, we just need to put the pieces back in. And you can see right here, 
where it comes through the hole. We're going to feed the chain through. Stick this piece through there. And then the finish on the other fan was a little bit darker. You can see, actually the chains don't look too bad because they're both worn, but this piece that was holding it on uh, goes with this finish on, the, on it. So with the finish on this fixture, so I can feed this through and at least have that be the same. Just tighten that down. Seems to be working. All right, so that was actually really simple. Now it helped that I had, uh, you know, another lighting kit that was the same. I did look this up online. I was able to find a, a, a replacement switch for this specific brand. The ones that they had at the hardware store were generic and I didn't have this one with me to hold it up there and see if the colors matched and stuff like that. But for this particular uh, repair, super easy. I'm gonna throw it back up real quick, move this out of the way. Should be super simple because all we have to do is reattach the wiring harness for the light kit, snap it in place, and then the screws that hold the kit up. Last screw. I'll tell you what, man, if this repair was that simple, I'm gonna be the hero because I didn't have to buy a new ceiling fan. And my wife has been wanting me to fix it. And I still have the old chain so I can at least get those to match. Take this off, put it on right here. Okay, let me hit the switch. All right, the light's working. Moment of truth. What? I tell you what, if you have not tried some of these repairs at home on your own, it's a really satisfying feeling. I just saved 60 bucks on a new fan, however much you would have had to pay to like get an electrician to come out. I mean, it's still an old fan, but at least now it works. Anyway, if you do ever feel like you've gotten in over your head or maybe you're not comfortable working with electricity or your plumbing, stop and call someone that you trust. If you don't know anyone, any hour services has electricians, plumbers, HVAC technicians that would be happy to come out and help you with any projects that you've got around the house. Anyway, I'm excited about this one. Good luck. Thanks for watching. See ya.